Hello and welcome to uh, part two of the Economics 2x032 Geo3 Math Review tutorial. Uh, this one deals with calculus. Um, so basically I've given you five problems, one for each rule of calculus that you'll need to know for this course. Um, I've given you a uh, nota bene on the side, on the right hand side, with the product rule, quotient rule, chain rule, and how to take the derivative of ln of x. Um, nota bene, interestingly enough, is uh, note translates from Italian to note well. It was first used in writing in 1721, and that is my tidbit for this little section. So I'm going to uh, ask you to pause the video, try these five problems, and I'll come back in the usual five seconds and go ahead and do the answers for you. Okay, hopefully we're all hard at work. Uh, okay, so we know first, first one's easy, right? Derivative of a constant is zero, so dy dx in this case is zero. Uh, derivative of something times your choice variable is just that something. So that becomes five. Uh, the third, this is the last one that I'll do the explanation for while I'm doing the answer. I'm gonna write out the answers for the next one and then we'll uh, take them up after that. So this one is 10x plus 2. Uh, this one is negative 1 over 2x squared. And this last one is 12x minus 3 over 6x squared minus 3x. And I know that you can factor a, you know, whatever out of that. I don't really, don't really care. Um, I'm not looking for simplification here, I'm just looking for derivatives. Okay, so I had some complaints last semester, I guess, about a problem that was a rather, I don't want to say complicated derivative, but it was a derivative that was tougher to make it work out. Um, there's no excuse in this course for not being able to find a derivative using these five rules. Uh, they're basically, you should know them from having taken a calculus course. Uh, if you're not interested in a course in applied calculus, then economics probably isn't for you. Uh, if you have to take it, just grin and bear it, but learn these five rules, okay? So uh, C is a case of product rule. Of course, you can expand this out and take a derivative. You'll get the same answer. Um, so Y equals 5X minus 3 times x plus 1, right? So we go to the product rule, right? We take the derivative of the first term times the second term, which is derivative of the first term is 5 times x plus 1. Okay, and then we add to it the derivative of the second term, which in this case is just 1, times the first term, 5x minus 3. Okay, I'm going to expand this and simplify so I'll have 5x plus 5 plus 5x minus 3. And from there we get our 10x plus 2. Okay? And I'll just write in dy over dx again. If you're not used to the, uh, geez, I don't even remember whether this is Leibniz or standard notation. Um, it's the same basic idea. This is just f prime of y. Um, so for d, again, you can bring the 6x up to the negative 1, and this becomes product rule. Or we can just use the quotient rule, as I'd obviously intended. Uh, so we're going to take the derivative of the top, right? f prime of x times g of x. So the derivative of a constant is 0. So just for pedagogical purposes, 0 times 6x minus the derivative of the bottom, g prime of x, times f of x. So the derivative of the bottom is 6, right, times 3. It's going to be 18. Okay. And that's all over the bottom squared, right? So 6x squared. Okay, so I can simplify that to be negative 18 over... 36x squared, right? Just take the 6 out of the brackets for which we have to square it. 
And then of course that just becomes 1 over 2x squared. If I simplify, of course you can simplify to 1, hat, 1 over 2x right at the beginning and do the same method, you'll get the same answer. Okay, lastly we have the uh, chain rule problem where we're taking the function, the natural log being the first function, of another function of x which is 6x squared minus 3x. Okay, so the first thing we have to do according to my little notation here, uh, note well, uh, is f prime of g of x. So we take the derivative of the whole thing, right, which I've already told you is just 1 over x, x being the thing inside the brackets. So it becomes 1 over 6x squared minus 3x. Okay, and then I multiply that by the derivative of what's inside, which is I, for the exponent rule, right, I bring this exponent down. So this becomes 12x, and then I subtract 1 from the exponent, so 12x to the 1, but we'll omit that because it's just x, and then minus 3. Okay. So I can just throw those onto the denominator. And there we have the answer. Of course, you can divide everything in this whole problem by 3, and um, you haven't changed anything. Wow corrected the lines really badly there. So anyways, that's the calculus review. Um, if you need more practice with calculus, I'm sure there's a host of problems on the internet to help you out, but I cannot understate the importance of knowing how to do calculus for this course. It's even going to show up in the next part of the review, which is uh, dealing with lines and graphs. So I will see you for part three.